every species on Earth occupies its own particular ecological niche. That's the biological framework that defines its place in its environment. This niche is shaped not only by physical conditions, such as temperature or altitude, that set the limits to each species' survival, but also by the species' needs for food, prey in the case of predators, and how the species squeezes in to a community of competing species. The complex, resource-rich environments of tropical Southeast Asia are home to a large guild of animals cohabiting in similar niches within one ecosystem, prompting a fundamental ecological question. How do they manage to coexist? In the north of Myanmar, the Hitamanti Wildlife Reserve is home to seven out of the eight wild cat species found in Myanmar. Between 2014 and 2018, we undertook massive camera trapping surveys that yielded a mass of data on five of these cat species. In ascending order of size, they were the leopard cat, marbled cat, golden cat, clouded leopard, and top of the tree, the tiger. One logical possibility explaining how these five species are able to coexist in this one landscape is that the smaller cat species might adapt their use of space and or time to avoid their larger cousins. Likewise, similar sized species might partition their spatiotemporal niches to reduce their competition for resources. We delved into the data from our camera trapping study to test these ideas. Results revealed that while massive tigers and mini marbled cats were both mostly active in daylight, clouded leopards and leopard cats were both nocturnal whereas golden cats were active at any time. Delving deeper, we found that golden cats and marble cats displayed strong niche displacement, whereas there was simply lots of overlap between the similarly sized clouded leopard and golden cats, as there was also between the very differently sized tigers and golden cats. We couldn't find any evidence that the absence of larger cats influenced the populations of smaller cats. Members of the Cat Guild in Tamanti appeared to partition the space they use rather more than the time when they are active. Nevertheless, the overlap in activity between the three medium-sized felids was inversely related to their body size, suggesting that the closer they were in size, the greater the niche partitioning among these three medium-sized cats. The largest niche differences in the use of space and time occurred between the three smallest cat species, and was most evident between the Asiatic golden cat, marbled cat pairing, followed by the marbled cat, leopard cat pairing. These five guild members are differently affected by human threats. Tigers, for example, are rapidly disappearing from Asia. In Tamanti, they, unlike the other felid species, were not found in the areas most frequented by poachers. Our study adds a lot of knowledge of five of the least known felids of conservation concern. It also lays a foundation to untangling the ecological rules that allow them to assemble into a cohabiting guild.